And the main thing about the rope is it's flexible, so you can manipulate it with your hand. So, and then in, when you swing the rope around your body as if you're swinging the club, the goal is to pull the end of the rope nicely around your body. So your goal is to move this point around your body, not about the body. Okay. You have to promote motion of the end of the rope. So you have to feel the motion of the end of the rope. Show me first that your initial response to the rope swing. Let me give you an image here. So currently your swing is like this. How about this? So give me this kind. Of that means we have to put tension in the rope. Handling the rope a lot better, but you're turning the bike this way too much. So keep it relatively symmetric both ways. Because you have the tendency of pulling the curve all the way here and then lifting this up here. So you tend to turn this way a lot. But give a good action in the back swing. The back swing is too slow. Back swing is too slow. Yes. Now, the one thing here, really important is that. You have to maintain the tension all the way. If you maintain the tension all the way, you hear the sound of the rope hitting the body because the end is alive. You go all the way and hit the body, and you start this motion and hit the body. If you slow down this, it just drops. So. You are moving the end of the rope. The end of the rope is a part of your body now. And then move the end of the rope around the body. Make a big arc around. Now, so here are two, there are two uh, in the purposes of the rope swing. One, you have to establish a consistent motion plane. In other words, back and forth, you are moving the rope along the same plane. So more than anything, you have to establish that thing. And also, the second purpose, you need to have enough time in the trench. So wait until the proportion is completed. Instead of going early. Okay. So first, pay attention to motion of the end of rope. So uh, see if you are making a consistent plane both ways. Move the rope along the same plane. Uh, so, uh, Still all the way down, you tend to pull the rope. Your hands are going too early. Your hands are moving too early here, and then the rope is following here. Instead, let the end of the rope go around. You have to throw the end of the rope in front of the hands on this side here. Feel the motion of the end of the rope both ways. Keep the tension, maintain the tension in the rope so that you can control. Uh, so uh, imagine you're doing a fish, uh, you are doing fishing with a pole. So when you try to uh, throw the hook to the target position, usually instead of just going like this, you do this. With this, you're maintaining the tension in the string. You can control the motion of the hook there. So then you can actually hit the, the target there. The same thing. When you maintain good tension in the back swing, okay, in the down swing, you can start moving the rope right away. But if you lose tension at the end of the back swing or at the end of the down swing, then when you start motion in the upper direction, you lose control. So keep the tension all the way. Now let's have uh, this field here. You're throwing the rope both directions. Not pulling the rope, but throw out. Throw out the rope in the back swing direction. Yes, also throw out the rope in the down swing direction. No, not pulling. No, 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 no. Yeah. 
It's not about your hands going ahead here. You have to bring the end of the rope in front of your body here. Again. Throw the rope. Throw the end of the rope instead of moving the hands here. You have to let the end of the rope go. So pay attention to the rope motion. That's better. But if you lose attention, well, well, if you lose attention at the end of the version, then you have to drag. Let's go to the top. No, you don't. You don't stop the arm here and then so you let it drop here. You have to let the rope go all the way. Mm -hmm. That means in the back swing, in the back swing, you are, you are throwing the end of the rope so that it goes all the way here. Then you will be able to maintain the uh, tension. Yeah. Uh, are you waiting too long? No, 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 no. Look at this, look at this, look at this. You don't rush down, but you don't stop there. So in order to maintain the, the tension here, let go all the way, start, let go all the way and start, all the way and start, all the way and start, all the way and start. So maintain the tension. So at the end of the back swing, your goal is to move the end of the rope in here. Mm -hmm. You have to move the end of the rope here, not start with the hand here and then let it drop here. Okay? All the way you're moving the end of the rope. Yes. And then make it, make the backswing a bit faster. Backswing faster, backswing faster. Oh, it's a two. Not that the right. Your goal is if you uh, make the backswing faster, that the intention is to move the rope faster, but not your body. Yeah. The right so let me hear the uh, this whoosh sound in the back swing. That means you're moving the rope fast. Here again, let me emphasize this. Let me emphasize this. The goal is to move the rope. So your body, your body motion should be simple enough. Now you're controlling the rope a lot better because you maintain better attention. Yes. Okay, keep swinging. Keep swinging. both ways, throw, 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 yes. Yeah, but one thing I see is that, see at the end of the down swing, your hand position. At the end of the down swing, your hand goes all the way here. This is too much. Just to let the end of, uh, end of the rope go and then nice finish about here. No need to yeah. It's because of your uh, downswing. You, you pulled it all the way, all the way here. Oh. No need to do that. Yeah. All you do is uh, let the rope go, let the rope go here, let the rope go here, let the rope go, let the rope go. So you can nicely finish reasonably here instead of going too far. The key is at the end of the rope. Yeah. Now, do you think uh, your string plane is consistent? Probably not. Uh, not. That's not a good answer. Your answer should be yes or no. No. The 
that means you have, you have to pay attention to the motion of the end of the block. You have to match the plane back and forth. Ah, that's better. That's better. That's more consistent. But still, you have a tendency of going away flat. So what do you have to remember is that if it goes flat, then it tends to come up here to the neck. Let it go up here and then go below the armpit and the armpit. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now you're losing you are losing the tension at the end of the back swing. So your body is uh, stopping. Yeah. That's a lightsaber. You're a Jedi. Okay. Uh, this is a Star Wars movie, okay? And then when you swing the rope, let's say when you swing the uh, lightsaber, it makes a wang, wang sound. Wang, wang, wang. Currently, your swing is wang, wang, wang. Instead, wang, Just a continuous motion. Have that in motion. Sometimes the sound, Make sure body is perfect. Make it continuous, one continuous motion. Both ways. Yeah, that's better, that's better. So you don't stop. Yeah. But still there's a tendency of rushing in the downstream. So by using this first motion, let the rope go over to here while waiting to have reasonable time. But it doesn't mean stop motion. So at the end of the back swing, at the end of the back swing, keep extra short. That way, you can have a more time. You don't rush down. Get extra short of time at the end. If, oh, do not, not lift the elbow, use a, to turn the shoulder board, keep extra short of turn, or keep extra short of turn. Yes, yes, yes. Extra shoulder turn. And then using that shoulder turn, you're coming down. Don't mind. Wind up, don't mind. Yes. So now that's what you need to practice in that. Instead of lifting, when you lift the arm, then you use the yeah. arm all the way down. So if you give extra shoulder turn, and you're using un unwinding, and then throw. Okay. So the arms are acting later instead of early here. But the rope swing is not that. Yeah. So that means you are controlling the motion of the end of the rope. And uh, this is yours, so I'll take it with you. But uh, at any time, whenever you find some time, whether it's in the bedroom or the living room, or if you have little space, you can always go to the rope. Yeah. And then the key here is minimizing the body motion. Eliminate all the unnecessary body motion. So my, my body motion is very simple here because my goal is to promote the good rope motion. So what matters is moving the rope best around at good speed instead of. Okay. So uh, eliminate all the unnecessary body movement. Just uh, as simple as just uh, turning the body with spine axis. Turning the body with spine axis. And then keep the gaze. So what, what should happen is that lift the chin a little bit. So turn this. Lift the chin and then gaze the ball with the peripheral vision. Mm -hmm. So when the face turns like this and then lift the chin a little bit, then it will help mm -hmm. the shoulder. Mm -hmm. But if you try to maintain you lift the gaze, then you cannot help yeah, your shoulder. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And also for the shoulder posture here, in the back, instead of going this way here, this way, this is called um, uh, protraction. Instead of going pro protracted position for both shoulder girdle, you actually have to get for more this position. Mm -hmm. So put the chest forward mm -hmm. as if you are butting against the something. Put the chest forward, put the down. The initial, initial flexion is too slow. 
Yeah. So instead, when you start, if enough just is wrong, okay. It's hidden by a I broke several uh, legs. <laughs> yes, it is. Draw the draw drop all the way. Yes. Still, this is a little bit too rigorous. You're putting a lot of effort, but rope, rope speed is not much. Look at this. Without putting that much effort, you still throw the rope that way. So, you know, you have to throw the end of the rope both ways. Throw this way so that it makes a V arc around and then end up here. Throw this way, yeah? That it will go all the way and then end up here. So, keep, keep the end of the rope alive. Pay attention to the rope motion. Throw the rope around. Keep extra shorter turn at the end of the backswing. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that's a lot better. Uh, so this is a lot better than your initial swing. Yeah. Go here and then limit the backswing. Try to right. pull all the way up here. So you have to feel what it's like to work with the, the device. I think you have to promote the good motion of the end of the device. Now, uh, this will be a challenge because it's heavier. It's heavier. And also it's a flexible. So this is actually good too. And it's well balanced in here. So that's why I like this. I don't like uh, things with too heavy uh, the head here. And so uh, you have to still control this well, this well, because it's a heavier, so you can feel the motion at the end of the whip better. However, still, your goal is to move this around your back. So swing back and forth as if you are swinging a ball. Okay. Mm -hmm. Throw all the way, throw all the way, and then let the, so, at the end of the backswing, you have to let the, the head go all the way here. Yeah. Instead of going to this position and holding it here, you have to go to a slight reverse field pressure and then let the head go all the way to a this position. Don't fight. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, I stopped. I, I got you. Feel the motion of the whip. Let it go. No, no, no. You stopping about here and then just letting the the whip go, but this is a continuous motion all the way. Don't fight and then wait until uh, wait until the texture is completed and then throw, yes. Wait and throw, yes. Wait and throw. But now the, the string cleaning is uh, messed up here. You have to again maintain consistent string cleaning, so pick up. Still turning this way a lot. No need to do that. Let the just the head go. In the, in the back swing, give extra shorter turn. Let it go. Uh, swing plane is going uh, outward. You have to bring it this way. So as you do this, as you do this. Of course, you need to generate enough speed, but putting a lot of effort is not the purpose here. You have to move the end of the rope, the uh, end of the whip along the plane you want to bring. You have to stick to a this consistent plane back and forth. It's not about excessive body motion. Move the, make it consistent both ways, swing. So you're doing that dog fight and wait until the motion is completed and then change the direction. Yes. So particularly, that's a, that's a last symptom now. 
Yeah. Particularly at the end of the vaccine, minimize the bending of the grip. Okay. When it bends a lot, that means the head is going this way. The head is always going this way. So have the image of minimizing the bending. But that doesn't mean you are completely stopping. This is what I want to see. So, so throw it around your body and then let it go all the way instead of fighting it and stopping in the middle, middle of the vaccine motion. Let it go all the way. Then with this one, maybe you have more time in the vaccine. And particularly when you wait until this is completed and they come down, you can actually put full effort in the bouncing to accelerate the curve. The only to have that excessive amount of motion.